Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the hen house. Today I've got some black obsidian we're going to learn about. Here's my notes. Doing it this way because I think it'll show best um, with the flashlight and everything going down. So, black obsidian. It is also known as royal agate. A la glassy lava. Oh, look at them. You can see all the scrapes and everything in it. And volcanic glass, glass agate. What it is, is it is created from a volcano eruption and it's cooled drastically. And voila, you get yourself some, oh, just blinded myself, some um, obsidian. God, I feel like a dupe. <laughs> Such a mess. I am going to show you quite a few different kinds because it does come in other shades. It comes in, in a, what they call a patchy tear, which you can see through because it's glass, basically. And depending on the minerals, depends on what you get. This is snowflake obsidian. Isn't that just cool? And it all depends on the minerals that are around it. So this is an acute. Okay. And then they also have mahogany obsidian, which is just absolutely gorgeous. I love mahogany obsidian. It has an arrowhead. And this is great because... Back in the day, they used these um, as as tools because it chips off into like shards that look like clips of glass, and it's very sharp, and it got the job done wonderfully. So, back in those days, okay, that's the only ones I have in front of me, but it also comes in. Let me find it before I say it wrong. Uh, oh, no, I do have a couple others. Um, I'm like way off this. <laughs> Midnight Lace I do not have. It is also a spider web. They have a copper sheen, which I do not have. Um, Snowflake Obsidian is here. It comes in a gold sheen, which is this. You can see this underneath, the color underneath. That is from gas bubbles. That's what creates that. And I will show you another one in a second. I'm looking for a particular one here. And then they also have a silver sheen, which I'm trying to get it to show. And that's all just the minerals and the gas bubbles. And when you're looking through the gas bubbles, you see the mineral below that is causing it to shine like so. The most abundant is the kind that you cannot see through. There is no sheen. There is no nothing. It is just basic um, obsidian. That's sticker goop. I love obsidian. Okay. It's found anywhere and everywhere that volcanoes are. So, yeah, nice and simple. It is on the, it is the number one protection stone on the crystal, like, system of protection stones. And it's gorgeous. I just, I love it. When I first started collecting this, I could not get enough of it. I just couldn't. For a talisman, this would be great for, <coughs> excuse me, self-worth. You can see the sheens and that one quite well. Uh, it's good for a truth seeker talisman, for courage. It's a great shamanic tool for removing blockages. I just, I love this stuff. For magical, it helps you with your 
um, transformation for your dragon guide. It's state, uh, state. It's great for scrying and gazing and um, like a mirror. It's a great because it's so shiny and reflective. It's a great. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm scrying. Little dude. It helps you confront your shadow self. And your shadow self is all the kind of like the yuck and the muck in life that you don't, you know, <laughs> you just don't want to deal with. It helps you to find that person in you, find those yucks and helps you deal with them. It helps you letting go of what's no longer pertinent or serving you in your life. I'm hoping all these are still in frame because I don't, I can't see above me. Okay. And this is a great stone for Scorpios. Yes, because it is fire. It is definitely a, a fire element, earth element, and sometimes water element. Because it's from the earth. It spews out of the lava, which is extremely hot and firesome. And then it is cooled rapidly by water. So, yeah. Great, great, great all three element piece. It's a great grounding stone. Some of these are dusty, so I'm trying to see the difference <laughs> in the dust and the sheen. <laughs> Look at that. That's silver. I don't have a piece of copper yet, but eventually I will own a piece of copper sheen. Just because. Why not? I'm trying to find a piece of everything. Okay, it also helps with Sagittarius, and it's a great birthstone of protection for the Sag. It is best to be worked with on a Saturday. So Luster is Vitrios. I'm saving some two of my neatest ones. Um, it helps your third eye and your solar plexus and your root chakra. <clears throat> Hardness is a 5.5 to a 6. It's a great hard stone. I mean, it's not going to fall apart and disappear when you're wearing it. It'll hold up to many, many years of rubbing and loving on it. It's translucent. Planets are Saturn and a Pluto. Let's see, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, this is a great one to release blockages. I'm not even paying attention. I'm like rolling it way over here in the middle of nowhere. Guys, this is why I don't do these <laughs> in this direction. <laughs> it's terrible. I got two, two more spears. I love them. I love them and... The smaller, the better for me. I like to hold them and roll them and rub them. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a great, great stone. If you have energy vampires in your life, you know, the people that just suck the life right out of you, suck the fun out of you, and just make you absolutely miserable, this is the one for you. It is great. Small little piece, like so, in your pocket. It is fantastic. You can also get, you know, some of the big boys. They do have some amazingly wonderful big pieces. And I just, I just can't. I can't. When I see this stuff, I'm like, oh, gotta have it. And I don't. I got plenty. <laughs> this is just a little oomph of what I got. This one is broken, but you can tell... That it is a form of glass. Let me see if I can get it to light up. By the way, it splits off. You see that? How it looks like a piece of broken glass. Absolutely. Pretty cool. And it is a great, great tool. You can use these to cut 
the strings, cut the strings that bind you to negativity. Just like think about the string, envision the string, and then cut it and feel the release. Absolutely. Okay, and then we got my little friend. I love it. Uh, this one's great for the divinity of Jana, J-A-N-A. -A. I'm trying to see if there is anything else on my stuff that I wanted to show you or talk to you about. Oh, from medical, it's great for circulation, digestive issues, gallbladder. It's great as a mental and emotional, um, um, emotional and mental leveler. Like, it'll help you clear your negative emotions, negative feelings. And it, you are a person who's been through a lot of traumas, this will help dissolve your traumas. Now, this one is Macola's piece. It also comes in a matte form. This is a wickedy witch. I love her. She is the craziest little thing. She's holding a pumpkin that has eyes and a mouth that's like, Ooh! and she has little skeleton hands because she's a wickedy, crickety old lady. I love this piece. And it, it does shine up a little bit when you rub it from the oils in your hands. She has great detail. You can see, hopefully, the wrinkles in her hat. Let me... Isn't that just awesome? I love, 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 love obsidian. It's the coolest by far. I think everybody needs a piece right here. You can see the shine from where it got chipped. Now to do the mat, it's like a sandblasting effect to make it all pucked and pitted just enough. This right here, if you shine this up right here real nice, that would be a silver sheen. You can kind of see the sparkles, I'm hoping. It looks like dust, but it's actually the sheen. I don't know. I just love this stuff. It is a great stone. It's highly recommended on my list. Um, it's a very... Um, like everywhere type of stone. You don't have to go to any special place in the world to try to find it. It's very readily available to you. And I just, I just, I love it. I love holding it. And I think you will too. I think it would absolutely benefit anybody and everybody. And it's just one of those comfort stones. It's a stone that's like just soothes the soul for me. It just makes me calm, cool, and collected. After stressing for a long day, just get a piece and hold it and rub it. And it takes all that junk and gunk out. It's like, bye bye take that away from you. To cleanse this, perfectly safe to do underwater. Running water, you don't want stagnant water. The best waters are always natural moving water, like lakes and streams and creeks and oceans, you know, the ebb and flow, the actual movement of the water. Um, to, tar to, yeah, blah, 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 to charge this, I love moonlight. It's such a calming light. It's a relaxing light. It's a, a soft light that's not like blinding and crazy and exciting like the sun. It's just a very mellow light. I love the moonlight. Um, perfectly safe to put in elixirs or waters. That's what an elixir is. To help clean out your system, like for your gallbladder and stuff like that. Digestive issues. Wonderful to put in a glass of water and just let it, you know, move about and charge your water. Um, 
definitely grab yourself some water, put put piece in your water and let it sit and charge it up. You can take it out, save it for later or what have you. Whatever piques your desire. And all of these things that I've been talking about on MCDN works with each and every piece. It doesn't matter if it's a mahogany. It doesn't matter if it's a snowflake. It doesn't matter if it's the spider web or the midnight lace or the um, Apache Tears. Apache Tears are normally given out to people as a healing stone for loss because it really helps you in the grieving process and all of this here can do that for you as well well thank you guys for coming by like share subscribe and all that jazz and um not sure what stone i'm gonna do next week but hopefully i'll figure that out soon <laughs> Alrighty, I love you all. Please stay safe and healthy out there. It's still getting a little wonky. And uh, don't go gas crazy, right? <laughs> oh, this world is something. Alrighty. See you in the next one. Bye now. Mwah.